Hi everyone, welcome to Dentozen. Today we are going to draw histopad diagram of squamous cell carcinoma. Subscribe to Dentozen if you have not done that till now. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook so that you keep watching such videos. Now let's draw the diagram of histopath of squamous cell carcinoma. Now word carcinoma is used for the squamous epithelial cells of the oral cavity when these epithelial cells they break the basement membrane. Basement membrane between the epithelium and connective tissue and they come and invade into the connective tissue. So the first important point here is break in basement membrane. The most important point here to call it carcinoma is break in the basement membrane. Then which cells are breaking? Squamous epithelial cells are breaking it. So the epithelium is highly dysplastic highly dysplastic epithelium these cells are showing the features of dysplasia that we discuss, discussed in epithelial dysplasia highly dysplastic epithelium and where these cells are coming after breaking the basement membrane into the connective tissue so that is the third feature dysplastic cells invading connective tissue now we can see a lot of inflammatory cells in the connective tissue and that is the next feature that is connective tissue with dense inflammation these dysplastic cells can form keratin which is arranged in concentric layer and that is called keratin pearls so multiple keratin pearls can also be seen in the connective tissue and also within the epithelium so let's draw all these features so first thing we have to show is break in the basement membrane so it's not complete it's not intact and the epithelial cells above that they are highly dysplastic that means they are of different sizes and shapes so we can make an epithelium which is highly dysplastic different sizes and shapes of cells some of these cells will be large some are small they have different sizes and shapes of nuclei so that is how a dysplastic epithelium looks like and now these epithelial cells they are invading into the underlying connective tissue So these cells are invading the connective tissue and they are lying in islands of cells. They can lie in sheets of cells. So they can form different arrangements and they are of different sizes and shapes. So along with that we can see keratin pearls which are concentric arrangement of keratin. So we can see a lot of keratin pearls here and we can see some cells around these keratin pearls. We can see some keratin pearls in the epithelium as well. So presence of keratin pearls tells us that it is a well differentiated squamous cell carcinoma. We can show a lot of inflammatory cells we can show some of the dysplastic cells around these keratin poles which are laying down this keratin and we have to show the features of dysplasia in the epithelium that is we have to remember all the features of epithelial dysplasia 13 features so we can show all those features here so we can show cellular and nuclear pleomorphism different sizes and shapes of cells we can show nuclear hyperchromatism some cells will show dark staining nuclei then we can show mitotic figures we can show abnormal mitotic figures 
so we can show normal mitotic figures so we can show loss of cohesion that we have already shown we can show prominent nucleoli we can show different sizes and shapes of nuclei that is pleomorphism So we can show all the dysplastic features and that too in the entire epithelium as well as in the epithelial cells which are invading into the connective tissue. So these cells, they will have different sizes and shapes of nuclei. So that is very important feature. That is we have to show these features in the cells. Then we can also show some blood vessels. Containing blood, RBCs. And we can show inflammatory cells. We can show some collagen fibers around these. invading epithelial cells so that is the histopath diagram of squamous cell carcinoma now let's quickly label all these features so we can see multiple keratin pearls here Then we can see connective tissue with dense inflammation. We can see dysplastic cells invading into the connective tissue. We can see break in the basement membrane. We can see highly dysplastic epithelium. So this is well differentiated squamous cell carcinoma. That is all for the histopath diagram of squamous cell carcinoma. If you really like the video, tap on the like button. Keep watching more videos on dentism. Keep following, keep sharing, keep growing. See you in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.